everybody, this is the weekly Divine Union reading and healing for Soul Connection Twin Flames. It's for the week of the 19th of July 2021, but it's relevant in the time that you watch this. Um, this uh, central figure is the present moment, what's going on now. Um, this is where we've come from, this is where we're going to, this is um, what's happening um, at the foundation of these um, and this is the antidote that we're bringing in. We're using the <coughs> Vice Versa Tarot and the Romance Angels Tarot. Um, so this one here, um, it's the Lovers in the Vice Versa deck, so it has two sides. Um, to me, this this side represents um, the plan, the higher plan, the angelic plan of the um, the twin flames coming in the same essence into two vessels, two polarized opposite vessels. Um, so, the long story of the twin flame is that you um, are one energy. You come down into opposing vessels. Um, through multiple lifetimes, exploring everything there is from multiple pers from opposite perspectives, learning all there is to learn, and then coming back together in a reunion, um, fully. Um, everything that each one learns is transferred to the other, um, and when you come back um, into a unity, it's balanced and whole, having learnt all there is to learn about these planes of existence. Uh, and I believe that's the initial plan there. So this is where we're at in the plan, where we were um, leading up to now, which is um, connected. So you can see they're holding hands. Uh, you can see that this um, this macabre up here, this this is the um, the feminine or the that is the downward facing part of the Star of David. So she, her energy is pushing down. She's bringing the higher down um, and his is pointing up. So he is um, in the ground, pushing the energy up, holding the space for her to land into. So she's representing more the higher aspects coming down, coming down to earth. She's she's landing those energies. He's holding the space for her to land. He's extending the earth energies upwards. Um, but they are always one mission. They're always one mission. Um, two vessels. <laughs> um, there's the whole Garden of Eden story with... Um, where they come from the higher planes um, of bliss and unity, um, heaven, paradise, Garden of Eden, and um, they're tempted through the snake. Snake can be the Kundalini, the tree of knowledge, the, the burning bush. Um, and they uh, basically, to gain knowledge, um, of this dimension to gain more knowledge to enhance their souls they um fall they fall from the garden of eden down into the earthly planes down into 3d reality as a learning process um with the intention of learning growing and arising back up to fifth dimension in new earth which is a process we're in at this timeline on this planet so if we're looking at this in terms of the twin flames or the soul connections, um, you've met, <laughs> you're always connected, you're never separate, um, you're always holding hands on another level. I actually experience this, I, I feel this myself in my own connection, that my hand's always held by his, um, and he's always holding space for me, um, and the, the light that I bring in is always shared with him and he gets the upgrades as I do. All the work that I do affects him, all the work that he does affects me. 
Um, but the thing is in the 3D reality until um, you're at a certain level of self-mastery, it's very, very difficult to be together for too long because it's very triggering because the connection triggers all of your um, things that you're here to learn. Uh, it's um, very intense and it's a lot to take. Um, and it's unconscious. You, you, you don't even, you know, it's partially unconscious. You don't even really know um, what's being triggered. You, you just sometimes just really pushed apart again um, and it seems illogical <laughs> so in the um, so it forms like a pulling apart and a coming together down on the physical planes so what we're gonna talk about now is um, when when the separation happens, it pushes you into a self-mastery. So this is the Nine of Pentacles. She is um, representing the individual. So she has, um, um, after having been triggered by this connection and pushed to do her work um, and reach self-mastery, um, she, and this is the same for both twins, but it's represented here by the Nine of um, Pentacles. This is achievement. This is success. Um, this is being whole in yourself to the point that you're content on your own. You're not looking for a partner to complete you. You're not looking for somebody to um, have a relationship with, to push off on for for anything really because you've reached a state of um, self-sufficiency but also accomplishment, also um, peace, peace and um, unity within yourself. Um, and so you can see the dove there of peace and the bunny, the bunny's fertility but it can also be fear and it's she's conquered fear. Um, She's also um, able to exist in the unconscious world. She's faced her shadows. She's, um, she's able to be in the unknowing as well as in what's ten as well as having mastered what's tangible and real in the physical world. Um, so there's a real balanced and she's underneath the arch there I see that it's like a wedding arch um, so between two trees there and then the wedding arch in the garden so again I feel this represents the Garden of Eden like she's ascended back up to the Garden of Eden um, through having really done her work um, whilst connected to her counterpart um, so I'm saying her um, and it is often the female counterpart or the um, female energy that has done this first um, but it it was it's an illusion that it was alone because it was always always in conjunction to the support energetic support and unity from the higher levels with the masculine um, and there's a synchrony um, in everything that's going on in your life there is something going on in their life as well. Um, that it's it's a singular process. It's not separate. It's a co-creation. So even if it appears like your counterpart is not working or not around or not communicating on a three D level, what's going on in their three D life is also connected to what's going on in your three D life. You are going through. Um, the same processes on certain levels um, because you both are committed to the, that mission um, it's bigger than your conscious minds it's bigger than your conscious choices so it's working through you all the time even though you're not consciously aware of it so the pushing together the pulling apart in the 3d is happening because of the energies um, coming in through this unity um, that push you 
in the periods of separation, um, even whilst you're together in the 3D, it's still working on yourself as a being, coming into a balance within the self, mastering all aspects, the mental, the spiritual, the emotional. So what I want to say here is I'm getting that a lot of you have been going through really, really difficult, difficult situations. And I'm not just talking about in your relationships. It might be work, might be house situations, might be financial, um, might be health. Um, all these situations are specifically chosen by your souls um, to strengthen you, to take you through mastery. It's like an initiation. So um, it's like how people learn to walk on fire, right? Um, they have to actually come in contact with that fire in order to master it. Um, and this is... This has been a really huge couple of years of intense challenges. Um, challenges that we don't seem to be able to solve from our lower self, from our mind, from any way we try and move through it, take responsibility for it, solve it, talk it out, discuss it, um, get help, um, seek legal advice, seek medical advice get healing whatever it is if it hasn't been moving it's because going through these this endurance teaches you strength and it changes you alchemically um and it could have felt like unrequited love so when we're talking about relationships you, you are together in this unity it may feel that they're not participating in the same way as you are or committed to it in the same way as you are or any way where you've been the one putting the effort and you've been the one putting your emotions into it or your thoughts into it or your energy into it and not getting anything back um, or trying to solve a problem and not getting anything back. Anywhere where it's felt like it's all you <laughs> and you're on your own, you know, like you're on your own like this. It's, um, it's not, you've never been on your own, um, at the other levels, um, you've always been supported, um, these, these people, these situations involved in what's not been working for you, that's made you feel like shut out in the cold, that's made you feel alone, that's made you feel unsupported, they're all there for a reason because you've been going through a strengthening process you've been going through a process of mastery and it's only um there's some things that you know you you try to solve they can't be solved there seems no way out you feel stuck um it's going through the experience of being stuck of being unable to get out of being deprived of whatever it is you you feel you really need that um that it changes you, it strengthens you. You are transformed by the fire. You're transformed by that fire. Um, and you come out as gold. You, you, you know, you're transformed from iron to gold, from water to wine. It's a transformation process. It's alchemical. It's something you chose um, to work through in this lifetime to take you up to the next level to bring you back to that garden of eden so what's happening from here um the guidance from above and the energies that are coming in are very soon so it's about clearly deciding what you want um because it's time now it's coming to you it's coming to you as you've reached this level of mastery and so we're leaving behind this journey of um, connection at the upper, separating into two vessels um, and going and learning separately all about the world to, um, whilst feeding that back up to the higher con shared consciousness. Um, and now we're coming into 
and that unity within self see she's married herself she's got that that marriage arch above her she's unified within herself she's unified with her spirit um and then the reconciliation is coming in so i'm also seeing this um how i'm seeing this in the practical sense in the pra in the material world is that i'm seeing wherever things were just on hold or wherever you were taking action on something committing to something moving forward on something engaging with something um the and the other parties just didn't come back to you just disappeared just um things were incomplete unconcluded um it, it just dropped really just dropped and never moved forward with where there was you know where there was no commitment and no um engagement um is coming back in and this can be this can be lovers this can be old lovers this can be um say or business situations projects that you dropped because nobody else was because you couldn't do it on your own nobody else was engaged the engagement is coming back in um and um it feels like there's no effort on your part here it's just coming back around it's coming back around um th this was required for you to reach this strengthening and this mastery and now that you have and you're unified in your real world those things that are aligned are coming back in um so the soulmates can be coming back the divine counterparts the twin flames can be coming back together but also the um the disparate parts in in your life the things that you were committed to that were not uh, moving forward are, are, are um getting going again they're coming back in um, so where there was no effort from others, that effort is coming back in. Um, and so that's what's at the foundation. That's the image that's foundation. And then as you can see here, in terms of the divine counterparts, this brings in the marriage. This is the marriage of the masculine and the feminine, uh, the yin and the yang, the unity. But the, this is the two separate vessels. This is more the material world. The two separate vessels coming together as a team unity reunion so this this reading is all about that whole process moving through and coming back together so together at the higher planes um, meeting in intermittently in the physical world as you bring all your gifts and learnings together affecting each other working that through within the self mastering the self being unified between the masculine feminine in the self and then the outer world reflecting that as the um counterpart or the person who is also um unified within themselves and done their work and um self mastery and not needing anybody else matches you vibes in they also have mastered the um, un intangible, the intuitive, the psychic, as well as the physical world. And there's the dove there too, the white dove of peace. So it's all um, coming back together. Anything that's aligned to you now from your new space, your new balanced unified space it now brings that um, in your life in your physical material world so essentially it's bringing the garden of eden into your physical world under your physical material feet co-creating in a balanced way with others and with your within your divine union and this is all happening very soon so um, as you are in a unified space and you are connected to your counterpart at all times, um, feel into that, work out what it is you want to create, how you want your life to be, um, 
what brings you joy, how you can bring your mission through into the physical reality. Um, and um, that will bring it in very soon. Uh, it's quite a fast manifestation. Um, we've been in a process of um, being in the cave, being in contemplation, um, working through our shadows. Um, and now we're coming, we're emerging, we're emerging out into the garden. This is such a beautiful reading. Okay, so let's bring the light language through. I'm really feeling it through the um, ribs and the solar plexus, the jaw and the throat. Um, I feel her communicating, um, and it's and it's like that hand that's up in the air is um, about to offer her wisdom, her knowledge. Um, so. Okay, it's coming through in light language. Meaning um, about love, like um, align to love, be the love, embody the love so that it comes to you now. So I'm also seeing this as, you know, um, coming together in your dreams, in the higher realms, in your telepathic communication, sharing the love at those levels, which then filters down through this um, pure channel, this pure vessel who's cleared all the debris that's in the way to actually embody in physical reality as a unity. feels really really clear um it's just some throat clearing and sacral clearing now we're clearing through the heart and activation of the heart of the empathic centers and the telepathic centers Clearing of all the chakras down the back, which is clearing of the past, past lives. Okay. So it feels really strong, like a lot of energy is coming. I hope you can receive that into your physical bodies. Let it move down through your base into the earth. It's a real activation of the heart, the high heart, the throat and the crown. They're showing me it's it's this triangle coming down. Crown's opening. Clearing through the solar plexus to go down into the physical body. Okay, that's in. All right, so that is a healing. Um, do make sure you drink a lot of water, rest, listen to your body. Anything that comes up will be um, areas where you haven't been met <laughs> or you've been challenged um, in big ways. They've taken a lot of endurance and strength. Um, those are things that will be coming up for you to love and let the energies move through. 
listen as many times as you need to. Take care, blessings.